Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be answering a question related to distance time graph. So let's get started. So here the question has given us with a graph that is distance time graph, which represents three objects or the motion of three objects. We need to study this graph and answer these questions over here, these four questions. So let's try to solve them one by one. So the first question is, which of the three is traveling the fastest? Now we know that the steeper is the distance time graph of a body, the faster it is. Which means that we need to figure out which among these three that is A, B, C has a steepest distance time graph. And as you can clearly see that it is the object C which has the steepest distance time graph. So it is for sure that C must be moving with the highest velocity among all these three bodies that is A, B and C. So our answer would be C is the fastest among all three since it has the steepest distance time graph. Let's move ahead, move ahead to the next question. So the next question says are all three ever at the same point on the road? Now to, to answer this question we should know that when can we say that two objects are at the same point on the road while they are moving. Whenever the distance time graph of a body coincides with the distance time graph of another body, we say that at that instant of time, these two bodies were at the same point on the road or they seem to pass by each other. Now here we see that there are three points at which these lines meet each other. For example, the point P where C and A meet, point R where B and C meet and the point Q is the uh, intersection point of B and A. Now, P is the point where C and A are at the same place. R is the point where C and B are at the same point on the road. And Q is the point where A and B are at the same point of the road. But we do not have any point on this distance time graph where all these three lines coincide or meet each other. And thus, we can say that uh, at point P, the object C and A uh, are at the same point. But we don't have any point, any such point where all these three objects meet or all these three objects are at the same point on the road. Thus, the answer would be no. All of them are never at the same point on the road since we don't have any common point common point of intersection of all these three distance time graphs. The next question is how far has C traveled when it passes A? Now at which point does C passes A? Let's try to find out. This is the intersection point of C and A. So it is the point P where this, uh, the object C passes A. Now at this point, we need to find out at this point, what is the distance traveled by C. So at this point, we need to find the distance. So for finding the distance, we need to draw a perpendicular from this point P to the Y axis where the distance is plotted. So it is like this. So we see that it touches somewhere around 300 meters. So the distance that C has traveled when it passes A is 300 meters. Now how far has C traveled by the time it passes B? Now what is the point where it passes B? That we need to figure out first. So which is the intersection point of C and B here? This is the one that is point R where C and B meet each other. Now at this point we need to find how much distance has been traveled by C. So for that we need to do the same thing that is from this point R draw a perpendicular to the y axis like this and the point where it touches the y axis gives us the answer that is the distance that C has covered 
when it passes B. So the answer here is 200 meters. The, car, the body C has covered 200 meters by the time it passes B. So uh, we have answered all the four questions here and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.